Hi, I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Stamina 50 Reps Upper Body. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat, some gliding discs or anything that will glide nice and smoothly on your either carpeted or your tiled floor, wood floor. Just make sure that it is easy to glide. You don't want anything that's really hard to kind of push across that floor because we will be doing 50 reps of each exercise. I've actually got my blanket here, which I'm going to use instead of the carpet because I've found that when I'm trying to drag in with a high pile carpet, it really has a lot of resistance and I don't quite need that much resistance for 50 reps. You also need some light hand weights and I emphasize light because 50 reps once again is a lot of reps. So I'm just using one kilo, which is just over two pounds. We're gonna start off with a body weight exercise. We're doing five exercises on one side, then we're repeating five on the other side, then we've got a new grouping of five exercises, one on each side, and then we are done. So a total of 10 exercises per side, that's a total of 1,000 reps. If you need to take a break at any time, do so, but I'm gonna try and push through. It's gonna get tough. I'm gonna use quite easy modifications to show you this workout so I don't fall apart at the seams, but I will try and show you some slightly more difficult ones. So, starting off, just remember which side you're on. The first side, come back as if you're about to do a tricep dip, okay? So you wanna be able to put your hand behind you with your fingertips facing towards your hips. If you prefer, you can slightly face them out to maybe 45 degree angles. And then you've got your tummy pulled in, your feet are just in front of you, and you're gonna come back and push back up. Now, a regular tricep dip would be up here, down and up. But I'm actually gonna let you sit down for this and go deeper. The other hand can either be resting behind, but we're not putting weight on it, or you might even wanna reach it in front. So that's how we're gonna start coming back and pushing up, down and up. So that's two, three, four, five. So I'm trying to come down quite low and then really using the palm of my hand to push me back up, nine. Keep your neck long, 10. And make sure you're feeling it in the tricep, the back of the arm. 13, this is good for the abs as well, that's a bonus. 15, 16, you will feel it in your shoulders a bit. 18, 19, 20, 21. The further you go down, the harder it is obviously to push you back up. So if you're finding this already excruciating at number 25, then you might need to go a bit shallower, 27. 28, keep your arm in close to your body. Don't flare your elbow out to the side. 31, 32, 33, 34. Really drop the weight into that arm. Don't just use your abs to go up and down. 37, 38, 39, 40, 10 more, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, come on, five, get low, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. So you should have felt that right at the back here. We're going straight into a glider exercise. You don't need your weights till the last round. You only need one gliding disc. And we're going to start off with a chest exercise. So you're going to be like in a push-up position. If you wanna go hardcore, then come into a proper push-up with your hips down, so a knee, knee push-up. If you wanna do it on your toes, go for it, but I'm not. Otherwise, come in here with me, put your hand on the glider, and we're going to come out and down and push back in. So it's out and down and push back in. This other hand is underneath your shoulder, three, Four. So you're really pushing your palm into that glider. Six, and you're coming out wide. Seven, trying to feel your chest. Eight, so squeezing your arm. Nine, and really pulling on the in. Ten, to feel that chest contracting. Eleven. Twelve. 
13, 14, hold your tummy in, 15, 16, you're stopping underneath your shoulder, 17, 18, 19, 20, come down with a flat back, 21, 22, 23, my blanket is bunching up but I'm going to try and keep going, 25, 26, 27, 28, really put weight into that chest, 30, the more you push down into that hand, the more you're going to feel it, 32, 33, 34, 35, come low with your chest, 36, 37, 38, 39, come on, 40, you can do this, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. <laughs> nice job. Okay, we're using the glider again. I'm going to switch my blanket because I've realized the issue is with having the end on that side. Same arm on the glider. This time we're staying in all fours again and we're going to come in front, come all the way down and pull in. Okay, so the other hand is underneath your shoulder, tummy's in, back is flat, make sure that you're pushing out of your shoulder blades. You're coming in front and in, two, all the way out, three, four, once again, push your hand into the glider, five, six, if you want to make it harder, scoot your knees further away, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, this is dynamic stretching, 14, 15, you're going to feel it on your supporting arm, that's normal, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, come really low with that armpit, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, keep your back flat, flat, 27, 28, push your hand into the glider, otherwise you're not going to feel it, 31, especially on the way in, 32, you're activating your entire arm here, 34, if you need to slow it down, that's okay, just press pause, catch up and come back when you're ready, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, come on, you can do this, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, long reach, 48, 49, and 50. Nice job. That arm is feeling it, yes? That's a good thing. Okay. We're coming to the side. We're going to sit in kind of a mermaid. You can either keep your knees on top or actually part them. We're going to put that glider to the side, same arm, and we're going to reach over and then pull in. And it's going to be a slightly slower motion than with the other ones. So take your time, and if you ever need a break, take a break, okay? So it's over and in, over and in. So you're gonna feel your core engaging here as well, four and in. Once again, all the way out and in, all the way out and in. If you wanna take your weight, that's a bonus, but I'm not going to do that because I know what's coming up. 
seven, eight. And sorry if I count wrong sometimes, I get carried away talking to you. 10, 11. So if you want to stay more shallow, you can. Just go like halfway. Okay, 14, and that's gonna make it a lot easier. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So the gliders use so many muscle groups, 23. 24, 25, that's halfway, 26, 27, hold your tummy in, 28, it will help you to get back up, 29, 30, 31, 32, are you pushing your hand into the glider? It makes a huge difference, 34. 35, 36, keep your neck long, 37, 38, you're going to feel this tomorrow, I promise you, 39, 40, just 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, come on, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, rotate. You, you can feel that even in the forearm. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sit cross-legged and we've got one weight and oh my goodness, we're gonna do circles with that one arm. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I can lift my arm. Okay, deep breath in. Shoulders are down and back. Arm is in front, palm towards the floor, circle it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are quick. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Push your shoulder down in opposition. 28, 29, 30. Keep going. 31, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Just 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. Put that down. Don't throw it at the TV. Right. Other side. You can stretch that out a little bit, get some life back in there, because we are going to still use that arm a little bit to support, so. Starting with the first exercise, do you remember it? Fingertips either facing your hips or slightly out to the side. Your arm is close to your body and it's as if you're doing those tricep dips, okay? The other hand, you're not gonna use, you can either just rest it or keep it in front, because my arm is so sore from doing those exercises, I'm just gonna keep it on my knee. It's down and push up, down and up. Three, you can lift your butt off if you want. I don't know how that's possible right now, but you can try, six, seven. Otherwise, just go low and really push up. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, try to let the weight fall into that arm, 15, otherwise you're just going to use your core and it's not meant to be an abs exercise, okay? 18, 19, 20, look straight ahead, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, try and go low, 29, 30, push out of the shoulder, 31, long neck, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 
37, shaking, 38, 39, 40, you can stay more shallow if you need to, 42, 43, 44, 45, come on, five more, 47, 48, 49, and 50, ah, ah, okay. Set up for those slide out push-ups. So we're going to put the glider under that same hand and we're going to keep this other hand underneath our shoulder nicely aligned. I'm going to stay like this. If you want to make it harder, then you can go like this. Good luck with that. I'm staying up here. We're coming out with a bent arm and glide it back underneath your shoulder. Two, three. It's gonna take a few to get the stance right. Five, make sure you're bending in that elbow. Seven, we're gonna do straight arms later. Eight, come down as close as you can with your chest. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, push in on the glider as you come in, okay? 17, it will help with engaging your chest muscles. 19, look down at your mat. 20, 21, keep it back, flat back. 22, tummies are in. 23, 24, 25, that's halfway. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, come on, 20 more, 31, if you need to take a break, that's totally fine, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 and 40, come on, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, you can do this, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Okay, now remember this next one. It's out in front and pull back in. And we're going to come as long as you can with that arm, pressing our armpit down towards your mat. So it's all the way up, press that armpit down and then push and slide back in. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Don't curve your back. Ten. Keep it flat. Eleven. Twelve. Press into the glider. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Try to keep the majority of the weight on this moving arm. Okay, you're going to have some on the other side, but try to press into the glider. 20, 21, 22, 23. And remember, you can keep it shallow. 24, you can do this. 25, no shame in that. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, I want you to stretch that arm, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, come on, 40, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, so we're just to those side ones. So you're gonna sit with your legs kind of stacked on top of each other and you're going directly out to the side, over and pulling in. So you're directly to the side and back towards your hips. Are you ready for this? Over and in. Two. You go as low as you're comfortable, but I want you to challenge yourself. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Don't collapse in your shoulders. You need to keep that area strong in order to pull back in. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There's a micro bend in your elbow. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, come on, 20 more, you can do this. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, slow and controlled. 36, just keep perfect form. 37, hold your tummies in tight, it will help you. 39, 40, press pause anytime you need to. Just 10 more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great job, you're done with the discs. So sit cross-legged and grab one weight. We're doing those circles and we're moving on to our next grouping. So roll your shoulders down and back. Your neck is long. You've got your arm up at shoulder height with a little bend and you're gonna circle out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, just 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Nice job. I'm going to allow you a child's pose stretch before we move on to the next five. Deep breath in and armpits towards the mat. And coming up. So we're back on the other hand. Make sure you use the other arm, not the same arm for these next five. Otherwise you're going to die. Not literally. So the first one. Why oh why is the first one a plank. The first one really uses both arms. So because this was the arm we just used, it's actually wiser to use this arm, which is the plank hold arm, because I find whenever you do planks, it's the arm that's supporting you that actually gets more of the work. So I like to face my fingers out on a side plank. I'm bringing my leg in front, okay? So I like to do that. So I'll show you more of an angle. So leg in front, and then I'm gonna come up on my foot and that's how I'm going to position myself with my arm in line underneath my shoulder. 
So I'm going to keep my tummy in and I'm just going to reach overhead and bring my elbow to my waist for two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you need to, you can kneel on this one. Twelve, so keep your knee down. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, push out of this shoulder, 18, 19, never slouch, 20, tummies are in, 21, 22, 23, 24, you're reaching overhead, 25, that's halfway, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, it's a dynamic stretch for the top arm, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, feeling your core to 39, 40, 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Put that down, come out of that plank. So that was the arm you just had down. We're going to an exercise now where the weight is in that hand, okay? Because we wanna keep on this side for the rest of it. So we're gonna come into an all fours and we're going to bring our arm out to the side. So it's coming down and up like that with the palm towards the back. And we're going to lift our opposite leg at the same time, up and in, up and in. Are you ready? Three, looking down, four. Once you see it, look down, five. Squeeze your glute at the same time, you may as well. Seven, hold your tummy in, eight, nine, ten. It's tapping down, but not fully resting. Twelve, this is tough, thirteen. 14, if you need to drop the weight at any time, you can. 16, 17, if you can't do the leg, then just do the arm. 19, 20, 21, 22, upper body includes your core, 23. That's why I'm doing these compound exercises. 25, that's halfway. Take breaks if you need to. 27. 28, 29, maybe don't come up as high, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, come on, 10 more. Micro break, ready, 41, 42, 43, long necks, 44, tummies in, 45, five more, that's it, five, four, three, two, one, oh my goodness, arm stretch, get some life back in there. Now we're gonna lie all the way down on your tummy. All the way down. Now, you don't need to use a weight for this because it's mostly lower back. If you want to go super hardcore, you can. We're going to keep all of the backside pressing into the mat, the leg and the arm. We're gonna keep our eyes focused in front, slightly in front of us. Our neck is gonna be in alignment with our spine and we're gonna come up and we're gonna come down. Use the weight if you want, maybe start with the weight, then drop it. Your arm is bent here and you're both coming up and down, crunching in your lower back. That's the main part of the exercise. So, are you ready? Deep breath in through the nose and out at the top. Two, three, four. Look down at your mat. Five, six, seven, 
Eight, only come up as high as you feel comfortable, but you need to feel that crunch in your back. 12, 13, squeeze your glute. 14, 15, arm and leg is coming up at the same time. 17, 18, if you can only do your uppers or your lowers, just pick one and go with it. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, that's already halfway. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, don't give up, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, squeeze, squeeze your back, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Nice job. Okay, for the next one, you don't need your weight. We are going to go in a down dog position. Now, if you can't do this in a down dog position because it just hurts your, um, your wrist or it's just not right for you, then you can do it in all fours. But if you can do it in a down dog position, it's a lot more effective. So down dog is basically arms and legs are approximately hip width, maybe slightly wider. You're going to keep your legs separated and this hand in the back there is gonna slightly come in so it's a little bit more under your shoulder and then push back, okay? Now this front hand, you're gonna come down on your elbow and push up. That's the exercise. So this is your option, down on the elbow and push up. A lot easier. So maybe do some up here, or if you really can't, then do them all down here. Okay, that's the exercise. Are you ready? It's down and push up. Two, three, four. You might need to keep readjusting. Five, six. The other hand is mostly for balance. Eight, you're still gonna feel some work in there, but I want you to try and put as much of the work into this front arm. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you're pushing up through the heel of your hand. 22, 23, 24. The other arm stays straight. 25, halfway. 26, 27, 28, 29. There may be some shaking going on. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, slow it down if you need to. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Come on, 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, done. Oh my goodness, that was tough. Okay, last exercise in this grouping. My shoulders are really caning. Okay, come down on your tummy. You're gonna have your hands in kind of an L position. We're gonna use this hand and keep it close to your shoulder. Fingertips are pressing towards, sorry, facing towards the front. We're going to push into this hand and then just tap your leg behind. So you're coming down, you're pushing up and allowing your body to rotate to the back. Now this is a little bit easier 
but you're using that entire arm four to push you up and over five so make sure it stays close to your body six you don't want it too far seven and eight if you don't want to tap your toe you can just lift up like this and ten and eleven 12, so you're coming down facing this way. 13, then opening your chest. 14, 15, 16, 17. Once again, pushing into your entire palm. 18, 19, 20, come on, 21. 22. This other supporting arm is getting a bit of work as well. 24. 25. 26. 27. Really make sure the start of the movement is initiated from that arm pressing you up. So that's what's giving you that momentum to turn to the back. 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, come on we're getting there, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, don't slouch in the shoulder. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, come on, five more, you can do this. 46, 47, 48, 49 and 50. Okay, come up. Child's pose. Stretch out those arms and then just move them around, get some life back in. Now, this arm that was supporting just now, the shoulder actually really worked there as well. So I'm sorry, but we're about to go into side plank onto that arm. So, sorry, not sorry. Do you remember how we set it up on the other side? We put one leg in front. That actually makes the side plank a lot easier. So I'm being kind to you here. So I like my fingertips pointing away. I'm going to bring my leg in front and then I'm going to come up into that side plank, make sure you're nicely aligned there and it's over and then elbow into the waist. Two, three, four, really stretch there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember you can go down on the knee. Eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So this is on the knee, 22, 23. You can even do this on the elbow, 24, 25. If you wanted to do a normal side plank on the elbow, 27, then that's perfectly fine. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. If you need to drop the weight, you can. 34, 35, 36, 37. It's tough. 38, 39, 40, 10 more, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put it down safely. Oh no, that was bad. And it's about to get worse for that little arm. Sorry arm, you must submit. Mind over matter. This next one hurts. Are you ready? All fours position. This arm is palm to the back, coming up, and then head of the weight down, tapping, and then back up. The back leg is in a glute raise. Make sure your tummy's in, your back is flat, you're looking directly in front of you. Deep breath, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze your glute at the top. Eight, keep your neck straight. Nine, 10, 11. Your arm is slightly bent, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, come on. 27, 28, squeeze your glute, 29, the glute is a distraction, 30, on how much that arm hurts, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, you can do this, 36, grit your teeth, 37, 38, 39, come on, push out of the shoulders, 10 more, you can do it, 10. Do it with me, 11. Sorry, eight, I counted the wrong way. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We get to lie down. Are you happy? I'm happy. Lie down. Arm in front, back arm and leg are into the mat. This arm is bent in front. You can use the weight or not use the weight. At this stage, I totally don't mind if you don't want to use the weight. You need to look at your mat. I don't want you to crane your neck and look at me. We're going to breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth and raise it. Two. Three. Squeeze the glute. Four. Think lower back crunch. Imagine you're doing an ab crunch, but for your back. Eight. Nine. Ten. Your arm and your leg are coming up at the same time. Twelve. That's what's creating that crunch. Thirteen. So don't think so much about the weight in your hand. Fifteen. Think about the crunch in your lower back. Seventeen. The higher you come up, the more you're going to feel it. 20, 21, 22, look down, 23, 24, 25, halfway, 26, keep your tummy in, 27, it will help you protect your core, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, drop the weight if you need to, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, just 10 more, 10, Nine, squeeze higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Good job. Okay, guess what? It's that down dog one. Remember your options. If you want to do it in all fours position, you can. Why, oh why? 50 rep challenge. So remember your perfect down dog. If you can get your heels close to the floor, that's really good. Make sure that you, your back hand is slightly more towards the center to help you really keep that balance. And we're gonna keep the back arm straight, tap down and push up through the palm of your hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So my back hand is a little bit in front of this front hand. 13, 14, 15. That ensures that I'm keeping more of the weight in the front hand. 17, 18, 19, 20. And you might have to continue readjusting. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. If you can't come all the way down with that forearm, then you can just do little micro ones, like this, 29. Maybe here, 30. 31, still hard. 32, 33, 34. Try to keep the majority of the weight in that moving arm. 36, it's easy to compensate with your other arm, don't do it. 38, 39, 40, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job, guess what? Last exercise coming right up. So we're gonna lie down and we're gonna do that L shape with the arms. L shape with the arms. This arm is gonna be close to your shoulder and you're going to push off and through that momentum of pushing off, you're going to roll to the back and tap that toe. Two, three, Four, five, so don't flare the elbow. Six, keep it alongside your body. Seven, push into your full hand. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, keep your tummy pulled in. Twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, keep going, 20, 21, don't slouch in the shoulder, 22, 23, 24, 25, that's halfway, 26, 27, hold your tummy in, 28, I keep moving around on the carpet, 29, so I keep trying to align myself, 30, so that my hand is still in the right position, 31, so make sure you do that if you're moving around like me, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, come on, 38, you need to finish strong, 39, 40, you've got 10 more, do them with me, do not stop. 42, even if you're just doing this, 43 and lifting off a little bit, 
44. Just do something. 45. We're nearly done. 46. 47. 48. 49. And 50. Congratulations. High 10. You did it. That was not easy. That was not easy. Oh my goodness. Those shoulders pretty much got worked in every single exercise. So your shoulders are very likely going to be sore tomorrow, but you're sculpting them into an amazing shape. So it doesn't matter how much you, pain you felt right now. All you need to think about tomorrow when they're aching a little bit is my shoulders are going to look amazing. Okay, so just keep going with these workouts. If they're not challenging, if they don't burn, they will not change your shape. You're trying to change your shape, right? You're trying to build definition. You will not achieve that unless it really burns. Now put your forearm against the side there and then twist towards the back. Nice straight spine. And then other side, forearm against there and then twist towards the back. Lengthening through the spine as well. So a lot of plank positions there. Anytime you're in plank, I want you to interlace your arms and then push your palms together if you can and then really kind of push your shoulders down. So anytime you're in plank, you're using your entire upper body. You're using your core, you're using your upper back, you're using your shoulders and your arms, even your butt, your glutes actually got a bit of a workout there. And then twist the other way. So planks are awesome in all their different forms, as well as those all fours positions, as well as down dogs. So whenever you're using body weight in different positions, you are carrying a lot of weight on those arms. So people think, oh, you have to use heavy weights, but your body weighs enough to change the shape of your arms. Arms are small compared to the rest of your body, right? Now just interlace and Push in front and really separate your shoulder blades. Round through the back here. And now push overhead. Ah, and maybe palms to the ceiling. And then lean. Push ahead, away from your head, up to the ceiling. And other side. Push up to the corner there. My arms are actually shaking still. Now clasp behind and pull up and maybe lean forward. And for the triceps, just reach down your back and pull that in close to your ear. And other side. So anytime you keep your arm in close to your body and you push up or press up, that is working your triceps too. And finally, just come back into child's pose and really push your armpits down, stretching your arms long. Deep breath. And rolling it up. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Stamina 50 Reps Upper Body. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next workout.